Red Sox and Rock is a um, performance art, but it's so much more than that because it's very healing and empowering to people. I know art is, can be considered therapeutic, certainly for most people it is, but this reaches not only you know the group itself, but also the audience comes away with some healing uh, aspects. We've always been somewhat minimalized or dismissed as a fashion show. Uh, we're not. I think the confusion came about when I first started the show because that was the only way that I could clothe or costume performers was to go to salons and like boutiques and get crazy hairstyles and clothing that would fit the theme. Um, but now, luckily, I've found local designers. Yes, I'm, I'm super excited that I actually get to put something into the show other than dancing and you know, doing everything else. Um, I, I, it's, it really is humbling to know, like, people are coming, people are paying, and they're going to see my, like, what I did. They're going to see my art. And it's not just me performing it, it's, you know, other people performing with it together. This is our ninth show. Um, we, we, we have taken a, a year off, like, we didn't do a, a show in 2012. But we also used to do the shows twice a year and not just in the fall. So when we first started, I did a fall and a spring. I am not a huge fan of spring or summer. I am more of a fall and winter person. So it just began to fit better, not only for me, but performers as well. Spring is a very busy time with Texas Tech and spring break takes up a huge part of people's you know, ability to be available. So. It works out better to do it during the fall. It fits better with the show. The show is very dark and edgy, and it just feels right to do it in October before Halloween. We certainly have um, lots of models that return and performers that return. My first year in TLR was 2013. So I did the October 2013 show. That was my first show. I play roller derby and I think Tosh contacted the president of the team at the time and told her that she wanted um, to see if the roller dolls were interested in doing TLR for that year. And so the president asked us and the skaters who wanted to do the show came to practice and we ended up being in the show. Last year's show when we did the skating, it was it was very different, and it was actually kind of difficult to do a lot of the routines on skates, and so. But it was, I think it was different for the crowd too to see us acting out these these ideas and these themes on roller skates, doing the exact same things that everyone else was doing, but on wheels. It, it was different. It was fun. It was fun. Um, this year we have quite a few that came in from last year, and then we also always have new people that come on board which is exciting because our family just keeps growing. Because it gives them an opportunity to celebrate who they are, it empowers them, that's the healing part I was talking about. It's not just me telling my story or coming up with a concept and having everyone tell that story. Each individual performer and model is encouraged to share their own in, the, in their performance. And I always try to make whatever I'm doing applicable to them, help them see how they can use it to heal themselves, empower themselves, and they do that when they design. The way that the show expresses certain ideas, you know, it's not, it's not a play, it's not a speech, it's not, it's just a different way to express that it's okay to be free and it's okay to be whoever you are, whoever that person might be. And we use music and we use performers and models and clothes and performances and it's just, I really enjoy expressing myself that way. So. This year's theme is resistance. Um, I tried to cover a, different aspects of resistance, you know, resistance in the bad way that you resist change or growth, but also resistance in the sense of, you know, anti oppression and resisting oppression. So this show really tackles and addresses all aspects of oppression, and in that way, it will likely ruffle some feathers. Well, it means a lot, actually. It's, it's a, it's, just 
it's something that I'm glad I'm a part of because, you know, it's nothing of the norm around here. And I'm really not normal for this town. I've lived here all my life and I always get asked if I'm from here and I am. So it's just something that fits with who I am. Um, as far as me personally, if I change one person's perspective, one person's mind, then I feel like I've accomplished something. It's an experience and I think you have to see it to understand exactly what it is. Thank you.